3x lex right back at you with another one let's do it 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 all right guys i'm here today to talk to you about how you should order this new bill okay the ultimate pi 400 bill i've been talking a lot about it it's got a lot of badass platforms on it a lot of games it's a 400 gigabyte build. This is how I will order it. You know, this is how I will order it. If I had the money and money wasn't an object, what I would do is this. I will get me a one gigabyte micro SD card, SanDisk or Kingston brand. I'm a SanDisk guy. Or um, Samsung is great too, the Evo cards. Maybe the Samsung Evo, that would be pretty badass. I would go with a one gigabyte. Um, I would ask for the 400 bill that I've been showing, the Ultimate Pi 400 bill. But I would just have him include that bill and load it up with extra PS1, Dreamcast, and PSP games. There's tons of those games out there. Between those three platforms, there's thousands of games. Those games are going to take up the bulk of the space of the rest of that card. And uh, I would tell him to go nuts with those. Pick out your favorite games that you're looking for. Uh, request those to him. I will reach out to him on eBay. Let him know you got a gig card. And uh, that's what you're looking to do. Uh, you want the Pi 400 build, and you want the rest of the space filled up with Dreamcast, PS1, and um, PSP games. Because those are what's going to take up the bulk of the space. Or, if you want it, you could just go with maybe a 512 card and have him include the Pi 400 build, which takes up about 400 gigabytes. And then load the rest of the remaining uh 100 plus gigabytes with just you know game for psp dreamcast playstation one etc etc other than that the other platforms are pretty maxed out like you got 200 naomi games um game gear uh daphne atomus wave all those platforms the arcade classics all of those platforms are pretty much loaded to the tilt so what would essentially be missing from this build would be more Dreamcast games, um, more PlayStation 1 games, and most importantly, more PSP games. PSP may be also Nintendo DS is on here too. So yeah, that slipped my mind. You may want more DS games. It's a good amount on here. But I, you can maybe request some more of those, too. That's why I would definitely go with that gig card if you can swing it. Um, yeah, PSP may be the most important platform on this bill. And it really stands out because it's the newest, most powerful next-gen platform that's being emulated on this, on this setup on RetroPie, on this particular RetroPie setup. Because um, even though it's a handheld, it's still the most powerful and it has perhaps some of the most current generation games. So a lot of the games that appear on PS2, even a few that appeared on PS3, like Tekken 6 uh, and GameCube, uh, Xbox of that era... A lot of those games were ported to PSP and they're fantastic on that system because PSP was nearly as powerful as PS2. So, hey, I've been like really enjoying the PSP section. It's brung a lot of modern flavor to this cabinet. And hey, man, this cabinet is really kicking ass, like really big time. This is a huge, huge upgrade and, and it's done without even going PC. So... Hey, man, there, I'm really, really impressed with this build. I, that's, I'll say that. I'm so, in, in fact, I'm so impressed. I had a spare 512 card that I've already sent to him to uh, throw this build on and add even more additional uh, Dreamcast, PS1, and PSP games.
But anyway, I would. That's how I would do it, guys. Um, if you got the money, you're probably looking at 160 or so for a nice gig card, uh, and you could send that to him. Reach out to him. Let him know what you want. You guys can negotiate a price, and uh, you can go from there. So that would be my suggestion, or maybe go with the 512 card if you want to save a few bucks, and uh, he can include this bill and uh, the rest of the uh, and, and whatever your request is for Dreamcast PSP and um, Dreamcast PSP and, and PlayStation One. So like, hey man, it's it's been a blast being able to like play Blaze Blue. On PSP, uh, Soul Calibur, Broken Destiny, uh, Marvel Ultimate Alliance, like just a lot of variety, man. PSP had a ton of ports from all of those next gen systems. And like I say, even a few from a generation after that was ported down to PS3. So, like, it brings a lot of flavor to this cabinet that if you just have the original stock arcade guys build, it's a world of difference going to this bill. It's so much more variety. It's crazy. And for the money it'll cost you, I mean, it's a really small investment as the cabinets are already very cheap compared to what's out there. Like, nothing already competes with this cabinet price-wise. You add this bill to it, and man, it's just on another stratosphere. It maps pretty easy to the controls. Uh, Hey, I don't have any complaints. You know, just make sure. And uh, I've talked with him, and um, he's making some slight changes. And um, gonna, I think he's gonna be including the borders on on all the bills going forward, if I'm not mistaken. But make sure I would make sure when you reach out to him, make sure whatever route you go, you get all you want all of the game borders. Uh, included on the bill because uh, that's with this being a widescreen cap you want all the borders that's just how you want it so uh, you know otherwise it's too much empty space on the side it's still fine but you want the borders like that's the way to do it you want to do it the right way do it the right way also and I'm glad I remember this you want this overclocked one of the big differences I've noticed uh, with this build, especially compared to like the Virtual Man build, uh, the Wolfano's build, especially the Virtual Man build, even the stock arcade guys build, is that the overclock, especially in the Virtual Man build, it didn't seem to do anything from the menu with the games. But the overclock on uh that he hard codes in this bill before he sends it out it's just at 1750 and it's been fantastic like a, a lot of n64 games have been cleaned up um everything's running really silky smooth and i've touched on this before in some of the previous videos but it's really a big upgrade to to the pie also the games and the performance in fact, we've had some more, more further talks in the 512 he's building me now. Uh, we're going to push the overclock up to about 1900 and that's going to be another upgrade. And uh, it should further clean up more N64 games. It should, um, it should clean up some of the Saturn stuff too. And maybe a few of the PSP games. Most of the PSP games run full speed. But uh, some of the stuff like um, some of the stuff like um, God of War, uh, that's a really really demanding game. Like for for a single board PC like this, a Raspberry Pi is very demanding. So we're gonna up the overclock uh, uh, another notch, uh, which will pretty much max it out. Uh, it can go further, but once you get to like around twenty one hundred. Some of the games start to have artifacts. You need to really go to a more exotic cooling uh, setup. Um, as it stands, it's been at seven, running at seventeen fifty fine for hours on end. I'm gonna push it to nineteen hundred. Uh, the arcade guy, anybody that has this cabinet, you know the Pi comes with a fan setup. So I'll keep a close eye on it, but I think it should be fine. I mean, we can always go to a higher end cooling setup. 
cooling setups for pies are peanuts, you know, at most 40 bucks for a really an exotic setup. So, like, we got options, tons of options there. But, hey, man, this build is, is something else. Uh, it's really what I've been looking for uh, for quite a while. And uh, it really checks all of the boxes. You know, ordering the arcade gas cabinet uh, and you order quality controls, HAP, um, Sanwa, you know, you get this build done right. Get the right speakers in this cabinet. Man, this cabinet is a knockout. Just an absolute knockout. It couldn't be beat. For this price, it's just, it can't be beat. You know, it's just an incredible value. And it's such an easy swap. It's literally no work to do at all. So, hey guys. Uh, once I get the 512 back, I'm going to do, and I know it's a little basic and a, a little rudimentary, but I'm going to do a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to install the uh, bill into the pie because I realize some of you guys have bought this cabinet and uh, you probably haven't ever swapped out the arcade guys bill so I'm going to do a step-by-step -step, uh, feature how to map uh, how to uh, install the car into the pie uh, how to start it up for the first time how to map the controller and uh, I'll give a brief run through of how things work so Anyway, guys, that's just how I will order this uh, particular build, 400 build. And again, it works with the sending guns, the Terramark guns, uh, the Wii, the, the Wii bar. It's just, it's loaded, man. And it's a huge upgrade for this cab. So anyway, guys, this is how I will order it. Uh, be on the lookout for more videos soon. 3X Lex out and I'll get with you on the next one. Peace.